the space between the Allied trenches and the German trenches was called no man's land. This was a dangerous place to be. As soon as I arrived in the trenches, as an excited young man, with no understanding of what war was, I was desperate for a look over the top of the trenches. We were warned straight away to not poke our heads up to look out. Of course, the ones that ignored the advice often got hit by a German sniper. We had to be awake for most of the night, just in case there was an enemy attack. During the day we had to work, repairing trenches, rewiring the fences and, worst of all, cleaning the latrines. In the end we just had to catch a few hours sleep whenever we could. At the start of the war, troops were issued with 8 ounces of vegetables and 10 ounces of meat a day. But, as the war went on and food imports were blocked by the German U-boats, it became a lot harder to get as much food. I remember in the winter of 1916, we ended up eating bread made of ground turnips because there was a flour shortage. Apparently it could take up to 8 days for bread to arrive on the front line. I can believe that. By the time we got it, it was nearly always stale. Officers didn't have it much better than the rest of us. They were the first to leave on a mission and junior officers had the lowest life expectancy in the trenches. They were also the ones to make tough decisions. Cowardice was a crime, punishable by death. Some soldiers tried to avoid entering battle by deliberately injuring themselves, others fell asleep on duty and some ran away. Officers had to make the difficult decision whether to report them, knowing that they may well be sending a comrade to his death. 